Charging objects. Charging an object does not mean creating new charges. Charging means adding electrons, moving electrons, or temporarily separating the electrons from the protons. We're never going to create new electrons or change the number of protons. Remember from chemistry that the atomic number of an element is the number of protons that the element contains. Unless the atom is an ion, the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. Like boron normally has five protons and five electrons. The periodic table is organized by the atomic number. We need to be careful in this chapter that we don't confuse protons and electrons. Protons have a positive charge and are in the nucleus of the atom. They don't move around and we don't change the number of them. When we talk about ions and charging objects, we're talking about adding or removing the electrons. There are four ways to charge objects that we're going to discuss, the first being friction. Friction is a transfer of electrons between two objects that are rubbed together. If you've ever rubbed a balloon on your head, the balloon stole electrons from your hair, giving your hair a positive charge and the balloon a negative charge. Remember, electrons are negatively charged, so if you gain an electron, you gain a negative charge. Conduction is when a charged object touches another object, leading to a flow of charge between them. In the winter, if you walk around on carpeting with socks on, you're going to build up a negative charge through friction. Then, if you touch a conductor, like a metal doorknob, you will dissipate your electric charge. In this scenario, you charge the doorknob through conduction. You were negatively charged and you gave your extra electrons to the doorknob. The cat is not normally charged, but the packing peanuts were charged and touched the cat. Polarization is a process of separating opposite charges within a neutral object. Polarization is not really charging an object, it's just separating the protons and the electrons. Notice in the picture that the number of electrons and protons in the neutral object is still equal, meaning the wall. The negatively charged balloon causes the electrons in the wall to move away. Remember, electrons don't want to be next to each other. Once the balloon is taken away, the electrons move back closer to the protons and everything goes back to normal. Induction is the charging of an object without direct contact. In part A, both metal spheres are neutral. In B, a positively charged rod is brought near the left sphere. Since the electrons like being near the protons, the electrons move closer to the rod. Both spheres are touching, so the electrons in the right metal sphere transfer to the left sphere to be by the positively charged rod, too. In picture C, the two metal spheres are separated, leaving the right sphere positively charged through induction, since it never actually touched the charged rod. Charging means adding electrons, removing electrons, or temporarily separating the electrons from the protons. Friction is a transfer of electrons between two objects that are rubbed together. Conduction is when a charged object touches another object, leading to a flow of charge between them. Friction is really just a type of conduction. Polarization is the process of separating opposite charges within a neutral object. Polarization just separates the charges. It doesn't actually lead to a net positive or negative charge in the object. Induction is a charging of an object without direct contact.